do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, we're going to talk about this really new PlayStation 2 exploit, which is called Free DVD Boot. So this is basically a PlayStation 2 DVD player exploit. It was released the other day on GitHub. It's been making the rounds on Reddit, other forums online. A lot of new sites are picking this up. This is an awesome development. And basically in a nutshell, if you have a PS2 slim model that has a certain DVD player version, at the time of this video recording, a 3.10 U or E series, or maybe a 3.11 U or E series, for example, it should be able to work with your PS2. I've done some testing. It works on my black PS2 slim which is a 75001 with a DVD player version of 3.11U. But my Slim, the newer Slim I have, the 9001 series, it didn't work. So it may work in the future. But I'll go through the process today of how to burn the disc so that you can test it on your own PS2 and see if it works. If it does work, that's awesome because now you can have a lot of good times. You can launch into you launch Elf, and then from there you can go ahead and install Freemic Boot to your memory card or maybe you got Fortuna Project, you can install that too. So there's a lot of different things you can do, and I'm sure the homebrew scene will do a lot of good stuff with this in the future. So I'll have a link in the video description to the GitHub. Massive props to Turt, fantastic guy. He really knows his stuff. So if you want to read the text tutorial here, you can definitely read the readme file here on the website, on the GitHub. The good news is you don't have to know any kind of coding. You don't have to compile anything. There's a real easy way to do this. So what you want to do is follow the instructions here, identify what is your DVD player version. Is it 3.10 or is it 3.11? Now, as of today, at the time of this video recording, if you go to the pre-built ISOs folder on the GitHub, there's something called a hybrid, a hybrid 3.10 and a 3.11 all regions. This is what I downloaded and I tried it out today. It works great for my one PS2 that is compatible with it. So all you gotta do is just click on the link here, right? So we're gonna use the hybrid as an example today. Click on the download. It's going to download this ISO file to your computer. I happen to have a copy of it on my desktop here. So here is the hybrid. I also did the 3.11 as a test earlier. And this is what we got. So let's say we're doing the hybrid file. Now you need a way to burn this image to your blank DVD disk. You know, um, I didn't have any minus R's. I did have a plus R, so I did do that. I already burnt it, so I'm not going to go through that burning process again but I do have a rewritable DVD just to showcase how the process works. And in this tutorial example, I'm using ImageBurn. If you want to use another program to burn your ISOs, by all means, feel free to do so. ImageBurn is a good one. I just happened to download from one of these mirrors here, download it and install it. When you go through an install process, make sure you uncheck the McAfee antivirus program or whatever's in there and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and run the ImageBurn. And I got a blank. DVD disc in my portable external USB writer here, which is a DVD plus RW, but for purposes of this tutorial, I'll show you the process. So what you want to do first is go here, write image file to disc. Up at the top, there's this little folder icon. Click on that, browse for a file, and browse to your desktop, for example. And here, I'm going to do the hybrid. So I say open, and then over here, you're going to have different write speeds. So in this particular case, I'm going to do as a 4X, my DVD plus R, when I did this test earlier today, it had a max speed of eight. I always like to go about four X in the middle. Uh, I don't think there's any issues with that. And then you, what you also want to do, um, optional, but I like to do it, is do the verify. So click on the verify box and then go ahead and click on this button here to write it. So it's going to write the image to your blank disk. And if you want, um, you can do eject tray and the verify. So then once it has burned, the file and it's only like less than two megabytes so it's gonna go real quick here your dvd drive is going to eject itself so here it's ejected on my portable usb drive here i'm gonna click it back in say okay and now it's going to go through the verification process so that takes a little bit longer um and once that is done it's going to eject and then you're good to go you can go over to your ps2 which i'll showcase the next portion of this video tutorial um insert the disc, turn on your PS2, your PS2 is gonna recognize it as a video, a DVD video, and then when you run that disc, in reality, is booting into Ulaunch Elf. From Ulaunch Elf, you can do whatever you want. So I have a video tutorial in the future of how you can install Freemic Boot or Fortuna Project from the Ulaunch Elf. But if you are a follower of the channel, if you've seen my previous video tutorials in general about Fortuna Project and uh, Freemic Boot, you'll probably easily figure out how to install those pretty quickly. 
So we can see that the operation has successfully completed. That's great. The disk is done. So let's just pretend I had a DVD plus R. Maybe you have a DVD minus R. Um, both should work out well. And now let's go ahead. Let's go to my PS2 and show that this is working. It's awesome. Let's do this. All right, so let's do this. So what I have here is my PS2 Slim 75001, and it has DVD player version 3.11U. I'll show you in a second how to verify that. And here is my disc, which is the free DVD boot hybrid 310.311. Now, like I said earlier, I do have another PS2 system. This is the Slim 9001. But when, when it tries to read this disc, as of today, it says uh, could not be read, something like that, and it just don't, won't work. It won't boot until you launch Elf. Maybe that'll be fixed in the future. But for the time being, if you have a 700X12 uh, you know, series of PS2, most likely it should work for you. Maybe one day the FATS will be upgraded to, to work with these ISOs. Time will tell. So let's go ahead and go back to my TV here. And how do you verify your DVD player version? Okay, so what we're gonna do is press triangle. So if you get the hybrid disc, you should be a 3.10 or a 3.11, you know, E or U, all regions. Make sure that your language for your PS2 is in English and you should be good to go. So what we're gonna do now is I go into the browser. I don't have a disc inserted. It says there is no data. Okay, so now let's go ahead Go back to my PS2 here. We got my Burke disc, nothing special, free DVD boot, hybrid. Okay, close the lid. Go back to the TV. We see that it recognizes as a DVD video. Awesome, X, enter. And now it's gonna boot into the Ulaunch ELF program. All right, cool, so now you press circle, go ahead and navigate your memory card or navigate your thumb drive if you have one connected. And you can use this as an entry point to install free McBoot to your memory card. Or if you have for Fortuna project, you can copy that over to your memory card. So no longer do you have to rely on a friend or go online or go to some store to buy a modded memory card. You can do this on your own, assuming that you have a blank DVD disc and also assuming you got a PS2 that supports the DVD player version that is available from the ISOs created by CTURT. So that's today's PS2 DVD player exploit video. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.